Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Namaskar and a very warm welcome to all present here today. Welcome to the fourth class in the second lecture series on uh, Japanese language and culture. As you all know, we are uh, revising this week, but with revision, we are also learning something new. In our uh, last class, we did particle ni with uh, ageru and murau. We also learned how to show purpose with uh, verbs plus ni. So in this uh, lesson also, we will do a little bit of ni, uh, we will do particle to and uh, we will do some new kanjis and very, very quickly we will revise our adjectives. So let us see what we have today for you. So as you all know, Japanese has two types of adjectives, I adjectives and na adjectives. And as you already know, I adjectives are uh, of Japanese origin whereas na adjectives are all foreign words which are used as adjectives in the language. Now, there is another very important thing here that uh, adjectives have some part of verb in it already. So, that's why we see conjugations like verbs in adjectives as well. So, skato wa akai desu. Akai is an I adjective. Why I? Because they are all ending in I or E as you can see over here. Then, akai skato wa takai desu. It's expensive. Or takaku nai desu. And you already know that I, if you remove this from here and put kunai, it becomes negative. So, akai skato wa takaku nai desu. It is not takai. Now, you can also see kanji written over here. We will quickly revise the kanji as well. So, you have it like this. Now, the interesting thing over here is that in olden times, it was very difficult to construct a double-storied house. Any house which had two stories like this would be considered high. So that's the idea behind making this kanji. And akai is also given over here. So, akai, this is doyobi, you already know. Then 1, 2, 3 and 4, akai. It's not proportionate, but well, you can practice and make it proportionate. Now, Tokyo wa oki desu. You have done this character as dai also in daigaku. So, well, dai over here and this is Tokyo. You should know the kanji of Tokyo because you are studying Japanese. So, 1, 2, like this to and Tokyo. So Tokyo wa oki machi desu. Now machi is also here. This is a field and this you can do as a J and join together and make machi which means city. Tokyo is a big city. Tokyo wa okikute kirei desu. Now this is what we want to do over here joining two adjectives, I adjective and na adjective. So, what do you do with the I adjective? O, ki, i, ta, ka, i. Remove the I from here, put kute, which means and, and you can put another adjective. It could be an I adjective or it could be a na adjective. Both are all right. If it is a na adjective, na is to be used if noun is coming over here, please remember. If it is just this, then na is not required. So, Tokyo wa okikute kirei desu. Or, Tokyo wa okikute kirei na machi desu. Now, you have done this. No mai ni, 
post positions we did in our last lesson. So, eki no mai ni in front of the eki, yasukute kirei na mise ga arimasu. There are two, three things over here. One is joining two adjectives with kute, which is given over here. Then you have this pattern, place ni something or someone ga arimas or imas. Then we have more of this. Earlier we did i adjectives plus na or i adjective. Now we are going to do na adjective plus na or i adjective. So koen wa shizuka is a na adjective and after na adjective you will use de as and. It is joining kirei and shizuka both na adjectives koen wa kirei de shizuka de. Koen is quiet and beautiful. Now, as I told you earlier, if you want to use noun after a na adjective, then na is going to come. This is why they get their name of na adjectives. So, koen wa shizuka de, this is what we did over here, kirei na basho is place des. Again, if basho was not there, then kirei des would have been alright. Kaisha no party wa itsumo nigiyaka de omoshiroi desu. Kaisha no party itsumo is always nigiyaka de. Nigiyaka is lively. Nigiyaka de omoshiroi desu. It is very, very lively and interesting. Then, kino no party wa nigiyaka de omoshiro katta desu. Now, so far it has been in the present tense. Now we have in the past tense. So, how do you make the past tense? Let us see how it is made. We have this word kino over here, thus you get a past tense. Kino, yesterday no party wa nigiyaka de omoshiro katta desu. It was interesting and lively. So, now let us do the past form for adjectives. You can see over here, takai, present, takai des. Remove the i, put kunai des. Is it okay? Become negative, positive, present, positive and present negative. Now, if you go over here, you will see it is katta. So, takai, remove the i again and put katta, taka, katta. It was expensive. Over here, it is expensive. It is not expensive and takaku nakatta desu. You have takaku nai. So, remove the i again over here for the past negative and what do you get? Takaku nakatta desu. Now, one thing you will notice over here that desu is there in all. The tense is not coming from here. The tense is coming from this part. Remember, this will always be there. The tense is being shown from this part. Takai is also here. Now, takai once again. You have another one. This is I adjective and this is na adjective. Na adjective is kirei. Kirei des. Past tense, kirei deshita. And kirei dewa arimasen. Or kirei janai des. And kirei dewa Nakatta des. Na adjectives are all treated as nouns. So if you have hon over here, then hon des, hon deshita. If it is ton and all, then you can say hon deshita. Hon dewa nakatta. It never was a hon. And hon dewa nai. It is not a hon. So please remember hon dewa. Takara, your tense is from this part and noun and adjective follow a similar pattern always. Then there is something which you had done earlier which is the tai form of the verb, verb plus tai which means 
you want to do as the verb is saying. And now why I am getting it over here is just to show you the similarity between the two as verb tai form is also treated like an adjective. Tabe tai. I want to eat. Tabe taku nai desu. Similarly, I is removed and kunai is put over here. Then I is removed and katta is put over here. Tabeta katta. I wanted to eat and tabeta ku na katta. So I again is removed from here and you get katta. Na katta. Na is already there. So na katta. So please remember that the conjugation is very similar for verb plus tai form and for I. Now you can see over here, ringo o tabetai desu ka? It's a question. Do you want to eat ringo? Ringo o tabetakatta desu. I wanted to eat a ringo. Ringo o tabetaku nakatta desu. And ringo o tabetaku nai desu. I don't want to eat ringo. So you can see the similarity over here very, very clearly in the Thai form and adjective. Now, for you to be able to compare together, I have put it here so you can see the two together. Akai des is I adjective, akakunai, akakata, and akaku nakata. And then you have tabetai with verb and tabetaku nai and tabetaku nakata and tabeta katta. So please you can compare it and revise at home later. Now we will do something new which is particle to. Some forms of particle to you have already done. We will do something new. But first we will revise what we have done. So you know that to is used to join nouns and not sentences. And to means and and to also means with. So how are the two going to be done? Let us see. Pen to enpitsu to hon. Watch. Ue no ue ni arimasu. It is present. Pen and enpitsu and hon are present on the table or are there on the table. Ue no ue ni arimasu. You know that. Now, in place of pen, enpitsu, hon, you can put any noun over here. So, noun plus to, noun plus to. And then position of all of them. Then, watashi wa kino. Taro kun to isho ni bijutsu kan ni ikimashita. Taro kun to isho ni. Over here it means with. With taro kun I went to the bijutsu kan. I went to the art museum. Kino is there so ikimashita. In place of these two nouns you can put whatever vocabulary you have and make new sentences. You can also put a ka over here. And ask question, did you go? And answer the question. Anata wa kino taro kun to isho ni bijutsu kan ni ikimashita ka? And make a small conversation. Now, this is and as you know, this joins nouns. What joins sentences? Soshite. Soshite is also and but joins to sentences. Soshite does not join nouns. And also another thing with soshite is that the thought has to be the same. Kore wa jisho desu. Soshite watashi wa miku o nomimasu. Cannot be done. The thought has to continue. Kore wa jisho desu. Soshite sore wa kyokasho desu. Kore wa budo desu. Soshite sore wa mikan desu. Or ringo So now earlier we had done particle ni. We will do how to show frequency or number of times a certain activity is performed during a certain period of time, during a certain duration or span. So watashi to haha, watashi and haha wa ishukan ni in one week, in that span of one week. Now because it is a span, it is a proper duration, it is defined, thus we can use particle ni over here. 
kai is once. Kaimono o shimasu. Kaimono is shopping. O shimasu. Was it? No. O. Watashi to haha. Me and my mother. We do shopping once a week. Ikkai. Number of times. We perform an activity. Now you can replace Ishukan with Ichinichi, Ikagetsu, Nen, Mika, any of these time expressions, and also Ikkai, Nikai, Sankai, Yonkai, Gokai, Rokkai. So Kai is the counter. Once, twice, thrice, four times, five times. Six times and over here watashi to haha can also be replaced with chichi to haha, imoto to ototo, watashi to onisan, sensei to gakusei, any of this can be done and give time span, number of times an activity is performed. So you can do this very very easily, ask and answer. For example, watashi wa ichinichi ni Nikai ha o migakimasu. Watashi wa ichi nichi ni ha o migakimasu. Watashi wa ichi nichi ni ikkai ha o migakimasu. Or watashi wa ikka getsu ni nikai. Ega o ni Watashi wa tomodachi to isho ni mikka ni ikkai. Mikka is three days. Three days. Mikka ni ikkai ega o mimas. So me and my friend together we watch a film once in three days. So that's the way you can use Time expressions, number of times an activity and use particle ni. You can ask a question using ka and as. Now, something very, very simple but a little tricky. So, just see. Watashi wa taro-san to isho ni tabemasu. I will eat with taro-san or I will not eat with taro-san. Isho ni is together with. Taro-san, question. Isho ni tabemashou. So, not asking him, just saying directly, tabe masho, let's go. Very, very direct shows that you are very close to the person. And then, taro san, isho ni tabe masho ka. Still very informal, but asking the person, shall we go and eat? So, this is shall we. Shall we go and eat? Because the verb says eat over here. Now, taro san, Ashita isho ni club e ikimasen ka? What does this mean? So now, why ikimasen over here? Well, when you want to invite somebody, you want to be very polite to somebody, you are requesting somebody to do something for you, then ikimasen ka. This ikimasen ka is not negative. When the negative of the verb is used with question particle ka, then what happens? It becomes a polite invitation. Please remember that. So, ashita krabu e ikimasen ka. Will you please come with me to the club tomorrow? We have done particle to a number of times. Just now we practiced as and. We practiced it as with and together with earlier. So, now I want to tell you something new about particle to. It is also used as a quotation marker. Which means that it marks the content of the verb like omoimas. Now, what does omoimas mean? The verb omoimas means I think or I thought or someone else thinks or thought. So, using omoimas, we can ask someone their opinion or what they think about something or someone. Now, one thing you need to remember that whatever is before to in the sentence, it expresses the content of the thought. Something to omoimasu. Now let us see how it is 
used. Kore wa Tanaka-san no pen desu. This is Tanaka-san pen. Or we can say Kore wa Tanaka-san no pen de wa arimasen. It is not Tanaka-san's pen. But when I want to say I think it is Tanaka-san's pen, then how will I say? So Kore wa Tanaka-san no pen da to omoimasu. Now why da over here? That before to omoimasu. Before to omoimasu. If there is a noun here, noun is used, then da will be used. And da is the plain form for this. Kore wa Tanaka-san no jisho da to omoimasu. Kore wa sensei no tokei da to omoimasu. So always remember that noun, if it precedes to omoimasu, then da will be used, which is plain for the verb, the verb, this. Pen can be replaced for anything over here, any other noun. Over here we did noun. Over here we have a verb. So what happens this time? Ashita ame ga furu to omoimasu. So with verbs before to omoimasu, it will always be in plain form. Now, omoimasu means I think as I told you and the particle to be used is to. Now, whatever is here is what the person who is saying thinks or in this case thinks because it is in present. If it is in past, then he thought. You can also ask a question by adding ka over there. Ashita ame ga furimasu ka? Ashita ame ga furu to omoimasu. I think it is going to rain. Nobody is sure. Now, before to omoimasu. As I told you, verb is going to be in plain form. So, watashi wa Iku to omoimasu. Watashi wa ikanai to omoimasu. Kino watashi wa or kino Tanaka-san wa itta to omoimasu. Kino Tanaka-san wa ikana katta to omoimasu. So what can you infer from here? Well, that always before to omoimasu verb is going to be in plain form. And if there is a noun, then what is going to happen? It's going to be da to omoimasu. You can make sentences and practice. Now, kore wa Tanaka-san no pen de wa arimasen. Very, very clear in the negative. So, well, kore wa Tanaka-san no pen janai to omoimasu. As I told you, with to omoimasu, to omou, always da is going to be used, plain form for this. So now, if you can see over here, plain form for ja arimasen, ja nai, ja nai. So again you have a noun over here, in the negative, ja nai, you cannot have ja arimasen to omoimasu. So always this is going to be in plain form. Present negative. Now for verb, ashita ame ga furanai to omoimasu. So furimasen and plain form will be fura, fura nai to omoimasu. Always plain form is going to come. And the kanji for omoimasu is with kokoro. This is the kanji for kokoro and this is the kanji for omoimasu. Omo Ooh, it's given over here as well. Now, this is verb, plain form. Miru, minai, mita and minakatta. Present, negative, present, past, 
positive and part negative. I am giving you very, very simple words, not the dictionary words, so that it is easy for you to understand what is written. Now, look at this very carefully. Nimas, Niru is Nimas, Nimasen, Nimashta, and Nimasen dished. So, try to remember your verbs like this so that you can make all these eight forms easily. Which group it belongs to? This is group 2, of course. You can have it Yomu. So, Yomi, Yomi, Mas, Yomi, Masen, Yomi, Mashta, and Yomi masen dished. Yomu yoma nai yonda and yomana kasta. In exactly this manner. So you can use any verb from this is group one, any verb from group one or group two, and make mas. Now, I have some kanjis for you, some similar looking kanjis. Let us see what they are. So, well, you have done tikara. Tikara. Tikara means strength. Then you have done man, counted for 10,000 for money, and then kata. So, these are the readings. You also have done Dai as in Daigaku, Dai as in Daigaku, Ki as in Mokuyobi or Moku also over here and then you have done Hon as in Nihon. So, now let us see what words we have which will be easy for you to memorize these kanjis. The first one we have is Chikara. So, you have done this word Chikara Mochi. Chikara Mochi. Chikara zioi. Chikara zioi. Chikara zioi. Chikara zioi means you are very, very strong. Chikara mochi is you have strength. And chikara ippai is you have lot of strength. Ippai means lots. Chikara means strength, of course, as you know. Then we will do this hon, this is very, very simple. You have done nihon, which is Japan. Only concentrate on the blue part. It will be easier to remember. Nihon, now this is honto, really, and hon, nin, the real person. The reading for you today is just hon. For this character, means book or origin. Now, this is kata over here. So, we have kata and if the kanji is repeated, then this is how it is going to be written. You have done the words now. See, kata, gata or hito, bito or toki, doki. I am just giving you these characters because you have done the words but you may not know how to write it. Anytime you see it written, you know how it is to be read. I hope this much is clear and you will be able to make all of this. Chikara is like this. We have done all the stroke orders, so I do not need to repeat it over here. Man, this one is for 10,000. I hope I write it correctly. So, ichi man or ni man is the way it is going to be used. Now, there are a few more. This is ko, kodomo no ko, ko, then this is kanji no ji. Kanji is the Chinese characters, kanji no ji, which means letter, and this means child. Now, this means gaku, which is place of learning. We have another set of kanjis over here, similar looking kanjis. So, 
sen, which is thousand. Go, you have done in gogo -go and gozen, which means afternoon. And then this is ushi. I'll quickly write all of them for you. Three stroke character, six stroke character. Then you have gaku, three, four, five, eight stroke character. Then we have three stroke character over here. Then one, two, three, and four, four stroke character for go. And then one, two, three, and four, four stroke character for ushi. Now you will see it's very similar. There is a slight difference. This goes beyond the line and this is under the line. Now let us see how many words we have over here with these characters. So gaku is there. You have done dai gaku. This also means, this character here also means oki. Then gakusei you have done, gaku and sei. Then we have done gakunen. Gakunen is academic year. Gaku and nen. I would like to tell you one thing. Sometimes my stroke order is a little different from the one given. So try to follow the stroke order given in the chart that I have given in lesson 1. Then this is gakko, very, very easy. You can see over here, roku, and then you make chichi. So, gakko. gakko. Now, let us see what else do we have. There are a lot of kanjis here I can see. This is kanji itself, means Chinese characters. This blue character is ji over here. Then ji ten, ji and ten means dictionary of Chinese characters or kanjis. Then kodomo, kodomo, this is ko over here, ko. And then we have senri. There is a very nice saying, a very famous saying, which I am going to tell you in your next class. In the meantime, you can also look up the net and see what the saying is. This is senri, meaning measurement for distance. Sen is thousand and ri is the measurement for distance. Then sen en satsu. Sen en you already know thousand and satsu is the note. Then you have giu niu. Giu is cow. Ushi is also cow and giu niu is cow's milk. Giu and niu. So the Japanese word for miruku is giu niu. So you can go over the kanjis. You can see all that we have uh, learnt over here. There is particle so. We have revised this. Then there is toshite. There is different usage of particle so. New kanjis, adjectives in their past present uh, form. All other conjugations with verb tai which is want. So try to digest this at home today. Do all that we have done. Revise, make sentences, questions, ask, ask questions and answer them. Do small kaiva and I think it will give you a lot of confidence. So we will uh, meet again very soon in our next lesson. Till then, study this and try to remember all the vocabulary that we have done. So deva minasan. Let's meet again very soon. Arigatou gozaimasu.